Welcome back to 70 times 7, the platform where we explore the consequences and the dynamics of forgiveness. We have established that indeed we have to bear the consequences. Mm. I was telling you about my son, June. Mm. I watched him. I knew he's going to hurt mm. himself. Mm. But, and even though I allowed him to feel some pain for a little while, mm. after a while, you know, I couldn't stand to see my son there in mm. pain and bleeding. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So, you know, my fatherly instinct told me enough is enough. I need to step in now. Yeah. Mm. So mm. I ran to him, I carried him, and I told him it'll be fine. I kissed his mm. sore mm. and wiped the blood and mm. did all that I need to do to comfort him. But even though mm. I comforted him and I ran to assure him of that I'm there for him, still the scars are there. And you, yeah. couldn't, you couldn't feel the same pain he was feeling. Yes, yeah. but mm. he knew that I loved him. Definitely. Mm. Because mm. when he was down, mm. I was there for him. That's precisely what God does, Paul. Mm. You know, the good thing about God is that he goes even beyond what a, a normal father would do for his son. He actually comes down. I mean, he condescends to our level. Mm. Imagine how much it must pain the heart of God. He knows if we go in this direction, what's going to happen. Yeah. But he, because of the freedom of choice, we, have to, we go that way. Yeah. 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 You said that the freedom of choice really matters because your son could have chosen uh, another toy to play with, but he has chosen that particular, yeah. you know, uh, yeah. toy. So he hurt himself. So uh, our choices determines our destiny. Yeah. And it determines also the consequences we are heading to. Yeah. So we must be very careful that our choices are guided by the Holy Spirit. Now, as, mm. as the human race, we were headed towards uh, an abyss, a precipice, as mm. it were. Mm. And God came and rescued us. Now... It's not one person or two people, but the whole world. Mm. Mm. And it's easy to say, but can God really do it? Can he really help us? Can he, mm. he help us shoulder our, the consequences of, 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 our, of our sinfulness? Mm. Yes, he does. As the popular hymn says, oh, yes, he cares. Mm. I does know Jesus he cares. Care? Yes. Oh, yes, he cares. Yes, mm. definitely. Yeah. So he will care for you as a young person. He'll care for you as an adult. He'll care for you, for, you know, mm. in whatever circumstance of life you find yourself in. Let's face it. Many of the challenges and problems that we have, mm. we have caused them ourselves. Even That's though true. we'd like That's to true. believe others are responsible. Yes, mm. we mm. would like to point the mm. finger at someone else. As somebody says, if you point a finger at someone else, remember that uh, three are pointing mm. back at you mm. and so can, one is pointing back at God. We can really have, uh, avoid most of the headaches we and, and turmoil and tragedy mm. in our lives simply by taking time to choose correctly. Yes. And of course, we have mm. the Bible as our guide mm. yes. and our standard as well. Mm. But you know what, uh, what amazes me, June, mm. is that even though the Lord allows us to bear the consequences, mm. he doesn't allow us to bear it alone. Yeah, that's true. Definitely. That, that's, true. That's, a, mm. that's a thought mm. that blows my mind because yeah. really God could have easily said, no, nah, they deserve it, you know? Yeah, yeah. you know, when, yeah. when my mm. son mm. does, when he goes off track, which is mm. uh, or quite often, mm. right? And I carry him on in my arms mm. and trying to comfort him and console him mm. at that time. It's as though he, his pain disappears at that yeah. moment mm. yeah. because I'm holding him. Actually, I'm... The scars will remain. Yes. He mm. will still have bandages on him. Mm. Definitely. He will, I will still have to put ointment and the mm. rest of it. Mm. But when I'm holding him at that time, I'm actually helping him mm. to bear the consequences. Yes. Mm. And if we as human fathers can do this for our children. Mm. Imagine. I, I, it, I can't even imagine mm. how God. You see, Paul, for a shepherd to lead the sheep and one sheep goes astray. You see the uh, shepherd's rod doing like this. Usually he hit the ship with the rod because he's falling astray. And then that hook uh, takes uh, the, the, the ship to his arms. Mm. Although the ship like limps because he hit him at first, yeah, he yeah. suffers the consequence of going astray. Mm. Sometimes, you know, the Lord hits us with his rod. The shepherd sometimes takes the sheep and he carries it. He carries because it. Because it's limping. After he, yes. he, he hits the sheep mm -hmm. and he carries it in his arms. So there are situations in life where you don't understand why one, I mean, a, a misfortune 
one after the other. But you know, and you know, guys, I just wanted us to scrutinize this further. Mm -hmm. Let's explore this concept of a, a, a biological father uh, helping their son or daughter to 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 mm -hmm. to go through these consequences. You know, mm -hmm. is it possible? It could be. It could be that somebody out there is suffering and they don't think that God does the same thing. How can we help him or help her to realize that God indeed goes even beyond what a, 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 a father, earthly father can yeah. do? Mm. You, know? you know, when I read the Bible, I'm amazed at the picture that we have of God in the Bible. The Bible doesn't say that when we realized our need, mm. that's when Jesus came. Sure. Mm. The Bible mm. says, when we were yet sinners. When we were yet sinners, mm. Mm. Christ came to die for us. Yeah. Mm. The choice to save us was his. Yeah. Mm. The whole initiative of salvation was his. Was his. Yeah. Mm. The desire mm. for us to be saved was his. Mm. We did not desire to be with him. He desired yeah. to be with us. In mm. fact, the res rescue plan was there even before we fell into sin. Now, That's can true. you imagine it, it, how it, much God must love us? It escapes my mind how yeah. he can do such a thing. So even, you know, when we ask God to forgive us mm. and we accept that forgiveness mm. in our lives, mm. I believe we should extend that prayer mm -hmm. and say, Lord, I accept your forgiveness. Mm. Now, Father, as your grace has forgiven me, mm -hmm. Please let your grace be sufficient mm -hmm. as I bear the consequences. Mm -hmm. yes. And let me become a better person mm -hmm. as a result of these consequences. And God can do it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sometimes you see, uh, you think there are about 6.5 billion people on planet Earth. Mm -hmm. And would God really answer my prayer? Would re God really, I mean, forgive me from, the, from all my sins? Sometimes that's the burden our youth has. And uh, e e even anybody who has that feeling of guilt. But God treats yeah. us as individuals. He says he knows the number of hairs on our heads. Mm. That's mm. how mm. He, he says, I've engraved you on the palm of mm. my hands. Mm. Yeah. So it's important for us to believe that what God says about us, he means it. He loves his, each one of us so, exactly. so much that if we fall, he will lift us up and he will help us carry mm. the yeah. consequences. That's over. the amazing God that we serve, dear friends. Mm. A God who loves us with an everlasting love. A God who not only forgives us our sins, Amen. but a God who grants us strength mm. to bear the consequences of our sinful actions. Mm. If you are right now bearing the consequences of your actions, accept Christ's forgiveness into your heart and allow Him to strengthen you to carry the burden of the consequences of your actions. You will see that with Christ, your burdens become lighter. May God richly bless you.